Hello and welcome to the latest video from Multilingual 101, Empowering Multilingual Families. In this video, we reveal how learning languages can benefit your brain. Of course, the wider benefits of learning another language are generally understood. Stronger academic performance, greater cultural awareness, better career prospects, more meaningful travel experiences, and perhaps most of all, richer opportunities in life generally, whether connecting with speakers of other languages or simply having a more outwardly looking mindset. What is less often discussed, however, is the very real, profound and dramatic impact of bilingualism and multilingualism on the human brain. Quite simply, teaching a child another language not only offers its superior educational, professional and cultural possibilities in life, it also offers significant health advantages and the prospect of greater longevity and quality of life. Parents considering encouraging their child to learn a second language from a young age can take heart from this and be even more convinced of the value of their efforts. In many cases, this might be simply because parents are keen to pass on their own native languages to their child. This is typical of compound bilingualism, or additive bilingualism, with a child exposed to two languages from a young age in the home, learning and effectively absorbing the languages simultaneously. In other cases, parents might encourage their child to learn a second language either out of necessity, as it might be the local community language where they're living, common in expat or migrant families, or simply as they feel the language will offer their child greater future opportunities. This is typical of coordinate or subtractive bilingualism, where a learner relates to the languages separately, maybe speaking to friends and relatives in one language, but learning and using another language in a different context, such as when studying or working. In either scenario, the benefits of bilingualism on the brain are numerous. Child development experts are familiar with the concept of the bilingual advantage, through which young bilinguals show greater language and communication skills than their monolingual peers. This encapsulates the belief that more advanced brain development gives bilinguals a head start in organizing and processing speech, effectively making them super communicators from an early age. More than that, a recent study from Bangor University in Wales suggested that bilingual kids show greater cognitive skills generally. In controlled tests on 32 bilingual and 38 monolingual children, it was the bilinguals that showed the best results in terms of problem-solving, concentration, and even memory. Overall, the bilingual kids performed what the study described as executive functioning tasks 6.5% better than the monolinguals, underscoring the measurable benefits of learning second languages from an early age. These findings are consistent with the evidence that bilingual children show superior metalinguistic knowledge with a child's language skills and ability to recognize and process the structure of language, translating into a greater aptitude for learning, logic, and literacy. Three L's of equal importance to the traditionally discussed three R's of reading, writing, and arithmetic. For parents who may be concerned that it's too late to start introducing their child to a second language, they shouldn't be deterred. A previous study from Lund University in Sweden back in 2011 showed that language learning can trigger the brain to grow in ways that it doesn't when learning other skills. Analyzing two groups of university students during intense three-month periods of study, MRI scans revealed that the group intensively learning what was considered to be a hard language, such as Arabic or Russian, showed a visible growth in the hippocampus and areas of the cerebral cortex related to language skills. The brain structure of the other group, also undergoing intensive tuition but not related to languages, showed no change in brain structure. These studies are consistent with current thinking. The impact of language learning on brain health has been the subject of increased research over recent years, and the findings consistently underline the importance and value of language skills. Intriguingly, some studies suggest that bilingual students show greater abilities in other subjects as well, whether solving complex mathematical tasks or even forming scientific hypotheses. Parents looking to introduce a child to other languages should also consider that the gift of another language is a gift that will continue giving deep into old age. Various studies underline that bilingualism and multilingualism leads to a healthier brain. One important example of this is how speaking more than one language is believed to aid recovery from strokes. A study published in the journal Stroke revealed that bilingual stroke patients were twice as likely to retain normal cognitive function after a stroke. 
The reason for this, in essence, is that bilingual brains have a greater volume of neural pathways, so that neural connections are more likely to be made, effectively carrying one's thoughts, even if a stroke has damaged some of those pathways. Equally impressive is the growing research on the apparent ability of many bilinguals to minimize the onset of dementia. Canadian research on diagnosed Alzheimer's patients revealed that bilingual Alzheimer's patients showed signs of the disease to family members and were diagnosed four years later than similar monolingual patients. Initially based on a survey of 200 patients, the research was repeated with another group with exactly the same results. A further study took a different approach, this time studying 20 monolingual and 20 bilingual Alzheimer's patients all of the same age. While all the patients were functioning at the same level in terms of how they were coping with the disease, analysis of the brains showed that the bilingual patients in this sample actually had much more advanced cases of Alzheimer's. This meant that their underlying brain health, supported by their language abilities, had enabled them to cope significantly better with the condition, placing them on an equivalent level to monolinguals with less advanced cases of the disease. Further research suggests that the health benefits of language may even be cumulative, so that trilingualism may deliver even more health benefits than bilingualism. This is a subject that we'll explore in a future video. The overriding message, though, is that learning languages, and in particular, introducing children to languages, offers a myriad of advantages that span the educational, professional, and private spheres of our lives. But beyond that, it could help protect and develop our brains at every stage of our lives. We hope you enjoyed this video and watch out for our weekly videos here at Multilingual 101 with our regular mix of information and inspiration as we put the fun into supporting multilingual families. Finally, if you like this video, please like it below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, this has been Multilingual 101, empowering multilingual families.